Good morning, my Leos. Happy bonus read. How are my cutie pies doing? I miss you, Leo. I love you, Leo. You know I love you. All right, my Leos. Um, yeah, I hope you guys had a great weekend, a great start to your week, and we are doing this. And don't, I mean, hold your shock. I know, Tarot of the Mystical Moments is not on the table. I wanted to give it a little break, you know? It's kind of like, I just want to give it a break. And with that no, I'm kind of getting bored. I mean, Let's close your ears here in the most moments. I'm getting a little bored with my decks. If you guys have any um, suggestions on decks that you like seeing as viewers or as readers you like using, um, point me in that direction, please, because um, every time I go like onto Amazon and put it, they always give the same. And this is my little thing. Let me just let me just put my little. Um, well, some of you technologically um, inclined people might know how to do this, but why is it when you search something, it doesn't give you the newest results? It just gives you the most popular. I have looked and looked. So on Amazon, if you put that in, it'll always give it like, like the same decks. I I don't want to go through a thousand pages because I'd rather find even of a newer deck, but it might be something more to my liking. But I don't know why I went down that path. So yes, Leos, if you guys, if there's any suggestion on decks, please put that in the comments. I'll check them out. I, you know, I have this tea and it's Allegro tea. I'm trying, I love Allegro coffee. It's my favorite coffee brand, but I tried their tea at Whole Foods and I, it's good tea by the way, but I just noticed this when I looked down before you're reading, look at this. What does that say? Brew positivity. Is that not a sign? Daily brew, we're gonna brew some positivity here. All right, my Leos. Yes, Tarot of the Abyss, the Golden Art Nouveau Tarot. Um, the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box, not my decks. Just trying to make it um, easy for you curious little kittens to get your adorable little mittens on them. Some people just like to check them out. So um, just trying to make it easier for you guys. All right, my Leos, let's see what's going on. We have a Page of Swords, right? And a Six of Pentacles. That looks really, really good. Page of Swords is wish fulfillment. See how she's staring up at the star? like finally it's finally it's happening uh knight of wands reverse and then the page of cups reverse uh, who knows it's your read leo um it's gonna be exciting it's gonna be maybe um a little uh what's that word <laughs> uh I, I can't think of the word but you know your readings always um always they, they always offer something a lot not a little but a lot different than a, the other signs six of pentacles and a seven of pentacles tell me i wonder if this is an extension of the taurus read i just did though six and seven of pentacles is a new opportunity coming along something that feels really good but it'll be like but is this really for me um seven of pentacles is a card of reflection of what you should do thinking but let's see what's going on. I'm just like here babbling. You, you guys always get me in the babbling mode. All right, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. If you are a Leo, know a Leo. Do you like being a Leo? Well, Leos, I'm always glad to see you, cutie pies. But you could be a Leo and this resonates, but you can be any other sign dealing with a Leo and you could still resonate as the main story. And Leos could actually be the cross watcher here. I know a lot of you come looking for love, but you know what? Keep your mind open because this could be about work, co-workers, friendship, family. Um, you just don't want to, you just don't want to miss out on something or see something coming because it's like hyper-focused in one area of your life. So just stay open to the energies and if, you know what, if the story doesn't fit, yeah, you just let it go. Don't try to make a fit. All right, Leos. Sun and Rising Venus. Let's see what's going on. General energy for my Leos. General energy for my Leos. General energy for my Leos. That's a lot. That's a lot. General energy for my Leos. No less than five cards once to come out twice now. General energy for my Leos. What are the collective messages? General energy. I feel like it's that one. That oh, Queen of Swords. Kind of like that Page of Swords. Queen of Swords. See how again the star, man, where is it? Ooh, strength card below that, there you are. I just wanna see. And the eight of wands reverse. Whatever this is, okay, we had a page of swords at the bottom of this deck. Now we're moved up to the queen of swords from a page of swords. We skipped the whole knight of swords thing. Queen of swords is getting really clear and focused 
about what you need to do to make yourselves happy. It could be a relationship. This could be all about a Libra coming in for some of you. But you see, once again, it's the star. Now she's not looking at the star of the page. She was looking at the star like, when is it coming? I want this. Now it's kind of within her grasp, but now it almost looks like she's thinking about, should I should I take this? I never actually saw this kind of um, Anna, um, description before on the card. But yeah, when you look at the page, she's looking up, looking like, you know, when is it going to be down? And now it's even further down. It's attached to her sword. It's part of her now. So now she's thinking, what is the best thing I need to do? I feel like with this, I'm going to keep this card out here. There you are. You know what you need to do. You, you know, this, this, whatever this opportunity is, it's an opportunity that you deserve. You may have been waiting on. What is the, what's influencing the queen of swords and Leo, the strength card, what's influencing it? What's influencing it? The sun reverse, your card. Once again, your energy. What's influencing is you don't want to spend another day waiting on something that may make you happy, but it might be bringing you a lot of anxiety because it, it's just, I feel like your focus is on something that was far away. And maybe this is a new opportunity within, within your grasp. What I mean by that, let's just take job for instance is you could be at a, in, a, in a job or in a certain position. Let's just say you don't want to leave the company, but there's a certain level. Let's just say, let's just take sales, okay? Let's just say you're just a, a, a sales, like, what do you call it? <laughs> I should know this, but you, uh, a sales associate. Yeah, let's take sales associate, and you're a sales associate, but you, you, you don't think that they would ever give you like that managerial position, but you want to go for third key, maybe assistant, you know? And you have your eyes set on something really hyper focused on one thing, but here's something that is even better that comes along. It's it's time to believe in yourself, Leo. It's time to believe in yourself because you are actually it's going to be in your grasp because they see what you can do. It's time for you to see what you can do. It's time for you to believe what you can do. It's time to get out of your head and back into your fire confidence. You know what is that um, fake it to you make it energy sometimes sometimes that's what it takes you fake it long enough it becomes who you are so the sun reverse is saying you life has been probably very difficult for some of you leos for a while maybe the relationships haven't worked out um you could have been cheated on you could have it was been struggling for money and you've been at the bottom it feels like you've been at the bottom of the wheel of fortune waiting forever for the the, the wheel to turn and here it's turning so don't don't overthink it get into the fire energy and believe that it's yours um just own it you know own your energy here what's the reason for the reading what's the reason for the reading for my leos what's the reason for the reading three of cups reverse now seriously some of you leos could be at a job where this is this is honestly when backstabbing energy it's just disloyal um it could be in a relationship but i actually feel like this is with coworkers or friends or people who don't have your back they talk behind your back um, you, you offer them your cup, you offer them your energy, you offer them your love and they'll take it. But then behind, they kind of talk behind your back and that's kind of bringing you down in the sun reverse. But I'm telling you, there is something where, let's just say if these were coworkers, yeah. there's an opportunity where you can become their boss soon. Don't worry about what these people think because they are sure in the hell not worried about what you think. Here we are, the tower reverse in the past, avoiding why what i didn't ask but it popped out before i asked i'll keep it but i want to get another card what's in the past energy here what's in the past energy what's in the past energy what's in the past energy yeah okay four swords reverse anxiety and avoiding you know what this feels so let's just say if this is within work or a family or a relationship whatever whenever you have spoken up and defended yourself it may have bit your hand Whenever you have put yourself out there for people like this, it has they have bit they have stabbed you in the back or bit your hand, and maybe you have learned to keep your mouth quiet. You have learned to get along to go along. You have you have been their best friends. You have been the best lovers. But it's not. Is it real? Is it is it is it making you happy? If it's not real, it's like make believe land. You know, four swords reverse and tower reverse. It's been avoiding a disaster moment that can cause it's kind of, maybe you are trying to not what is that word not conflict conflict keeps coming to mind but that's not the word i'm going for um 
I don't know. My brain is not working. Um, yeah, you you don't want you you just don't want an argument with people so you allow people to get their way you allow people to have the loudest voice the people who tend to have the loudest voice are the people who shouldn't be talking at all have you noticed that look at politics name me a politician that talks a lot and they that they they actually give something of value it's usually the people with all the great ideas are afraid to speak them so this could be even within your work. You have something of value to bring to the table. You might be very, like you, whatever this job would be, you would be such a good fit for it, Leo. But I feel like you're so used to silencing and editing and filtering, filtering yourself because of people like this. So don't, it's time to, Queen of Swords, it's time to get boundaries. It's time to fortify your energy. Don't allow people like this to whittle your self-confidence down. What is on your mind? What is on Leo's mind? What is on the Leo's mind? What is on the Leo's mind? And the two of, I, you know, I kept thinking, I'm like, man, I'm just feeling work here. I'm not even feeling love. And then this, this, this stuff pops up, the two of cups. And then the three of cups. Look at this Cancerian energy, two upright, then three reversed. And if this is a relationship, I'm so I'm actually glad the two of cups because I was thinking, how how does this look like a relationship? And then the two of cups comes up. So if this is a new relationship, this three of cups reverse can honestly be your family members. It could be your friends. It's just jealous energies, okay? Remember that. People wouldn't talk behind your back if you didn't give them something to talk about. And I'm not saying negative, I'm saying something good. Whatever's in your cup, they are ain't they are not able to fill themselves. They drink from your cup and then they also are mad at that you even had that cup. So they want what you have. So this two of cups could be about a relationship. Queen of swords is you might need to start doing some cutting out. If people aren't going to have your back, then you don't want them even in your energy circle. Strength is staying true to your, believe in yourself, stay true to your path and don't let this go because of other people. Because going back to this is only, I mean, with the sun reverse, four swords reverse, tower reverse, avoiding good moments because somebody might rain on your parade is no way to live a life. What's in the near future for my Leos? What's in the near future for my Leos? What's in the near future? What's in the near future? What's in the near future? Ooh, I just saw King of Pentacles reverse. That is a cheap skate boss, let me tell you. What's the near future? And the death reverse. It might as well have been a King of Pentacles reverse. Bottom of the deck, here you are, awakening. Awakening to your true self, awakening to your path, awakening to who you are. Um, not being afraid. Not being afraid of your gifts because they might outshine other people around you. Maybe those people need to uh, brush up on their own skills and their own self-confidence. You don't need to lower yourself to make other people feel better. You don't need to keep yourself small to make them feel tall. No, awakening is, is knowing who, it's the judgment card, but I love that they call it awakening because it's usually awakening with yourself when you're allowing yourself to see people for who they really are, good or bad, right? So with the death reverse, and the awakening is you realizing what has kept you unhappy, what has kept you stuck. What, you know, it's, it's some of you, it, it, this is like, a, you might be 55 or 60. You're lucky to have this lesson early in life, let me tell you. But a lot of times it happens after you've lived half of your life at least and you realize, oh my gosh, those family members that are just so low vibe. I really believed I deserve that energy. I deserve their wrath. And it's, an, and it's no, it's as simple as I feel if you have jealous energies around you, it's because they are not willing to work on themselves. So three of cups reverse is you dumping out that cup and, and doing what makes you happy. Some of you, this is about being in a relationship that they, they don't give their approval. Well, who the effing cares? Some of you, this is about can being connected, especially with the awakening and the two of cups. That is some strongest energy about being connected to yourself, being plugged back in, right? These people unplugged you and then blamed you for it being dark. This is you plugging yourself back in and fortifying that plug so nobody can do that to you again. So you're awakening to who people really are and seeing them for who they are. And, and the Queen of Swords, I feel like you're going to be doing some cutting, to be honest. Okay, how do the Leo see themselves? How do the Leo see themselves? How do the Leo see themselves? 
How did Leo see themselves? And the moon reverse. I love that. Look what we have here. We have a sun reverse in the general energy. This might be some of you being like, I just, man, I, I don't know what to do. I like my job, but I can't stand who I'm working with. And I really want this position, but what are these people going to think? I don't know. The, the sun reverse is to me the moon upright. Confusion, loss, feeling your way around, don't feeling sad, don't not quite understanding why you feel sad. You want something, not knowing if you. And here we have now we have the moon reverse, which is what the sun upright. This is how you see yourself, getting yourself out of that darkness yourself, pulling yourself up and saying, you know what? I now see people for who they are. I want that relationship. I want that position. And I don't really care. You know what? I don't really care if they don't want me being their boss. I don't really care what the hell they think. That maybe they'll actually leave these, these, it reminds me, I'm trying to filter myself. I don't want to use too much naughty language at only 7.49 a.m. But um, yeah, it's it's no, no longer caring what these people think. The moment you stop caring what people think, that is when you're really in your power. That is when you're in your strength card. That it's, it's, that's really, um, that's, I think that's like the magic. That's the mad, that's the, um, the secret weapon. That's the secret that nobody really understands. That doesn't matter where you are in life or what you have accumulated. If you're still caring about what people think of you and you're still caring about, worried about that, you have no power at all. You're living your life based on other people's opinions. Once you free yourself from other people's opinions, man, there's nothing you won't be able, you, there's nothing you can't do. Okay, what is the energy coming into influences for my Leos? Energy coming into influences and the Six of Swords and Leo moves on. Energetically, because I, I feel your six of wands is success for you to become in the six of wands. You need to get this right. Six of swords is energetically moving on from other people's opinions of you, moving on from what they think. So you can fly like the Eagle. You are eight of wands here. No longer trying to slither around with the snakes down here. What is in your emotions? What is in Leo's emotions? What is in Leo's emotions? And the King of Swords, ultimate clarity. In your emotions is saying, I know what I need to do. And when the King of Swords has his mind made up, good luck trying to change it. He is so clear. Look at the swords. We started with a page and then a queen and now a king. The page is something you want in grass. The queen says, oh, it's here, but oh, unfortunately I'm gonna have to cut some people out. King is just like, go away, bitches. I got shit to do. King of Swords is, I want that job. I'm going to get that job. I want that relationship. I don't really care what you think. King of Swords, this is the thing. He's really respected. He may not be liked right away, but he's respected. But because these people who don't like him respect him, eventually they're going to like him. Um, he doesn't care what people think. He sees a tough call. He makes these tough calls. He doesn't talk about it. He just does it. And then you could see later his progress and be like, how did he do that? How? He's the king of swords, you know, of course he's going to do it. What is the outcome? What is the outcome here? What is the outcome here? What is the outcome here? Yep. And the wise one. And that is how you rise. Some of you, this is definitely going to, this two of cups would end up in marriage. Put it this way. If this is a relationship, this is the one you, this is the one you deserve this. If this is a job, which I feel mostly this is about a job, you being in this king of swords, fake it to your make it has you making it. And that has you running the show. I feel like these three of cups reverse, either they will eventually respect you and have your back or they're just going to go away. What I wouldn't like about these people working under you is they, they are toxic to the workplace, to, to new people coming in. Just so they're nice to you, you know what they're doing to new people and that hurts the, the work ethic of, of, of the, the entire operation. So I feel like what you might be doing when you're in this position is maybe cut, even cutting this out or they'll just leave because yeah, they're too jealous. 10 of pentacles. There it is. When the page of swords turns into the 10 of pentacles, 10 of pentacles is a lot of money, a lot of security, and it all came from an, an opportunity. You have your eyes set on it and it is finally within grasp. And I love this. I love it. I love it. I love it. 
Okay, Six of Pentacles. Yep, a new opportunity comes along. Seven of Pentacles is could be, why well, I don't know what they think. I don't know if I should take it. You know what you need to do. That's why the Ace of Swords was below that. What you need to do is take it and probably do some cutting or cutting along the way. All right, Strength, Queen of Swords, influenced by the Sun Reverse. Strength, King of Swords, influenced by the Sun Reverse for my Leos. That is your energy, Libra energy, and your energy. Are you dealing with the Libra? I think it, if you're not, Libra is about justice. It's about what's right, what's fair, and being clear on what what you need to do. And I feel like that's that's what's going on here. I think you have been getting screwed over. You you've been trying to avoid a lot of conflict within a workplace because you know you just don't want. You just don't want an argument. You don't want people to not like you. You don't want to have to go into a place where they're going to make it hell. And this opportunity comes along where I feel it's it's a, it's you're going to rise above this. So you can cut the you can there. I just feel like they would probably leave on their own coalition here. All right, what is this? Strength, Queen of Swords, and the Sun reverse, and the Four of Pentacles reverse. Releasing what has made you so unhappy. Releasing, avoiding this energy, and just tackling it. Confrontation. There it is. There's the word. There it is. This is saying, you know what? I don't like confrontation, but I can be confrontational. And if I get confrontational, there will never be a conflict. That's just taking charge of the, the nut house here. Four Pentacles reverse is releasing what is making you unhappy. And some of you, this is about just going for whatever this opportunity is. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Ooh, maybe it's not within the same work releasing three of pentacles reverse it could maybe it's a whole other workplace or relationship what is this three of cups reverse reason for the reading what is this three of cups reverse reason for the reading and the eight of wands upright moving away from this that's going to make you unhappy some of you are definitely leaving a job behind or a i mean it's it's changing companies completely or relationships if it's a relationship three of cups reverse could be maybe they weren't loyal to you but i i really feel like it could be even their family members or if this is about a breakup and you're already broken up and people are still in your business it's just moving away from this circle dynamic whatever this is and even if it's just you in that relationship or you know it's it's better than having a ring full of um these kind of people in it this is okay what is this four swords reverse in the tower reverse in the past four swords reverse in the tower reverse and the three of wands interesting aries energy waiting for a ship to come in waiting for their approval to be here waiting for this opportunity waiting 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 three of wands but what's interesting is he holds one wand he hold, he knows what he wants but he's waiting for somebody to tell him he deserves to have it king of pentacles reverse and this cheapskate will never tell you that king of pentacles reverse could be a cheapskate boss it could be a relationship where they just don't give you anything uh waiting for this person to be upright and do what's right for you i i i really feel like this is work what is this two of cups on your mind what is the two of cups on Leo's mind? Two of cups on Leo's mind. And the wheel of fortune. My Leos are at the top of the wheel. You know, what did I say? You're gonna fly like an eagle and that slither on the ground with the snakes. This two of cups, it's very snaky. They're actually snake bodies. Um, you know, snakes, snakes shed their skin when there's growth and growth i don't know how many snakes they actually surveyed to know this but from what i understand it's a painful process um when snakes shed their skin because they grow and yeah and then they have to they have to right i feel like you're shedding the old you leo you are growing it's an uncomfortable painful process to stand in your power it's a painful process to be confrontational but sometimes you have to be confrontational to shut the bitches down um even if they're men i'm telling you even men can be bitches i'm telling you so you have to stand up for yourself leo because these people aren't ever going to stand up for you 
and you want them to respect you, you have to give them something to respect. And what they're going to respect is you being in your power, you knowing what you want, and you're not allowing negative people and negative energies to hold you back anymore. You want to be at the top of the wheel. You're tired of having to rob Peter to pay Paul. You're tired of getting paid and already knowing where the money's going to have to go. You're tired of always having to go to the grocery store and worry about your rent or your mortgage. So this is a good opportunity for you to be at the top of the wheel. And these people are gonna make it uncomfortable, but once you are in your power, it might actually be enjoyable because I think you've been avoiding this for a long time. And if this is a cheapskate boss, well, I feel like he's the one or she's the one who's gonna be really screwed over if you go to a competitor and you're gonna have that boss's position at that place. And without you being there, you're going to make your old boss look really bad. So it's a lose-lose for that cheapskate, this King of Pentacles reverse, Taurus energy here. What is the judgment and the death reverse in the near future? The judgment and the death reverse in the near future. What is that? And the Ten of Wands reverse. Ooh, 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 ooh. I, if it, it feels like a job to me. I'll be honest. King of Pentacles reverse. Somebody's been holding you back probably promising you something but not really delivering it and you seeing them for who they are you're saying you know what I, I'm just leaving this behind there's a new opportunity here it's actually going to pay me what you promised to pay me it's going to give me the position you promised to give me they maybe you're afraid that I'm going to rise because I'll have your position which is true you would and they know that okay what is the moon reverse how you see yourself Piscean energy the moon reverse here how you see yourself and the page, there it is, the page of cups. This is a new opportunity. And if this is within love, how you see yourself is happy. If this is a relationship, you are getting away from the people who just are trying to make you feel guilty for being happy, for moving on. What is the six of swords energy coming in to influence this? Remember the swords are energy in your mind. It's not your energy in the six of wands. So, but I feel like for you to be truly in your six of wands, you have to, you have to mentally say, you know what? I don't really care what you think. And there, the six of wands will d definitely happen. What is the six of swords? A lot of times we just worry so much about what people think that there's so much we could have done with our lives if we just didn't care what people think, you know? We get into careers we don't want, marriages we don't want, because we feel like we got to please a certain type of person or family members, you know, do what's expected. What's the Six of Swords? What's the Six of Swords here? And the Six of Wands reverse. If you, exactly, I felt this. You're not ever going to achieve this level of happiness or success if you're caring what people think. And I feel if we go all the way back here to a sun reverse and your energy being reversed, you're going to get tired of being tired. You're going to be tired of crying over people who wouldn't cry over you. You're going to get tired of trying to please people who don't have any interest to pleasing you. And I feel like being you're going to hit a point and that is what's going to energetically move on to stand in your power and like i said sometimes being confrontational is what ends the conflict avoiding it is not doing anything for you what is this six of swords and the six of wands reverse and the strength card look at you pop up all over the place in your power you definitely are bringing in the the you're getting your power back here what is the king of swords in your emotions king of swords in your emotions what is that and the Knight of Cups reverse. This is such fake ass energy. If this is a lover, this is a inappropriate lover. This is somebody who doesn't show up for you. They, they say they will, but they don't. If this is a friend, um, it's just not real. It's just people who make a lot of promises, but a lot of cance more cancellations. It's, 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 you show up for them and you, you bring them gifts, you go to the parties. And then when you want a lunch date, they're suddenly too busy. It's just a fake, it's a very empty energy, Nine of Cups reverse. They're all for the promises. And usually, if you notice, those promises are when you are giving them something. So they come in because they want something. If it's sex, if it's uh, if they're lonely and they want to go out, if it's a part, whatever it is, they're getting something in that moment. And they'll be like, yeah, we're going to do this and we're going to da da da. And then the, the, when that time rolls around, you don't even know where they are until the next time they need something. It's just an inappropriate kind of relationship. It's an empty relationship. And you being a king of swords is going to be saying, you know what? I'm tired of this emptiness 
of the false promises, of the offers of I'm going to have this and then you hold it back. I'm moving on. Nine of Wands. There it is. I fell out. Sagittarian energy. So I love that we, to get into your Six of Wands energy, you have to get on that horse again. You have to get your power back, right? Take it back from these kind of people. The Knight of Wands is confident. It's, it's on your way of being yourself and the better version of yourself. And the King of Swords is cutting out the, all the loose ends and all the people who just, yeah, lie to you. It's like the tarot cards are backing me up like the pips, Gladys and the pips here. We have the Five of Swords here. People who just, as soon as you give them something, they'll ram that sword in your back. You turn your back and there it is, right? You're moving on from this. Give me another card with the King of Swords here in Leo's emotions, King of Swords. Ten of Swords reverse. And I feel like these are repeated chances. Repeated chances for them to do the right thing and they don't. What did I what did I just say? Isn't that funny that these cards I said to turn your back and they will what? Ram the sword in your back. And you're done with that. I think you're just done with that. Overall, I think you're tired of being tired, Leo. And a change has to happen. And a change does happen. What is the higher fence? Let's just move all this over. Let's let's get to the goods here. What is the Hierophant, Taurus energy, the wise one? I feel like this is where you're going to. I feel like if this is a relationship, that two of cups, that page of cups, two of cups ends up in where you really want to be. I, it's definitely a long-term commitment, put it that way. If this is, but I'm, like I said, I'm feeling mostly this is about a job and where this job is going to be is the leader of the pack here. What is the wise one? What is the wise one? And the eight of swords. Gemini energy, why the Eight of Swords, and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. I feel like this is the opportunity, and there's the devil. This is the, this is the opportunity. This is the position. This is the relationship. But I don't know what people think. What are they going to think? Well, you keep worrying about what people think, and you're never going to spend the time looking and and putting that energy into what what makes you the long-term money that makes gives you that long-term security that gives you that happiness sometimes life has to turn you upside down leo to make you focus on what's important this queen of pentacles reverse is so first of all let's just talk about the rabbits i haven't talked about that in a while see the rabbits on the card they represent nervous energy they represent stress when she's like this it doesn't mean she doesn't have stress she's just not she doesn't get let all stress to dictate her decisions. When she's like this, this is a woman. Who, this is a woman or a man who is stressed the f out because it's a, it's it's of your own making because you're worried about what they're what other people are gonna think. So when she's so worried about what people think, she's not focused on that coin on her lap, this opportunity on her lap. So what I think, whatever this three of cups reverse in your life is, it's not gonna feel good when it happens, but it's the key to release. It's, I think this is the precipice. I think this is the, the last sword in your back. Whatever this is, it gives you the, the drive to say, you know what? This is when God, universe is turning your life upside down to focus on what's important. What's important is this opportunity. What you need to focus on is what's going to bring you long-term happiness, long-term security. Even if it's, it, it comes at the cost of people not liking it, right? These people don't pay your bills. I don't think so. I don't even think if this is a boss, he's really paying your bills because he could be giving you more money. He's not doing that. So if people don't pay your bills, Leo, don't really care what they think. You need to pay your bills. You need to do what's right. And you need to stop staying blindfolded to what people are, are doing to you. And the, the devil here is, I, I just feels like a shitload of toxicity, Capricorn energy here. Doesn't mean it's a Capricorn, but I just feel like I just feel like if you put these two cards together, it could be a lot of freaking stress. If you keep worrying about these three of cups and you tr keep trying to please it, you're only going to get more and more tied into the situation. So here's this opportunity. What's the best way to get out of this opportunity? Sometimes, like I said, you have to bring the confrontation to end the conflict. And I feel like this is you standing up for yourself. You can't avoid it forever. Remember the tower reverse? Because avoiding bring, gives you that sun reverse. The tower reverse puts you in that, the four swords reverses anxiety. So I feel like there's going to be, 
what this reading is, is one, an opportunity. It's like a two, two-fold thing. There's an opportunity coming along, but at the same time, I think this is kind of revving up. I think these people know. I think these people are making it uncomfortable. How you get out of it is just step up to the opportunity. Get into your fire energy. Get into your six of wands. Best way to get six of wands, you're going to have to move on from what people think. If who cares what they think they don't pay your bills these people probably don't even pay their own bills let's get let's get real so whatever this is take it take it leo right there anxiety out the window eight of swords would be reversed queen of pentacles is upright and the devil would be reversed just like that doesn't have to be six month long thing it's a it's just a decision a lot of times avoiding making a decision gives makes the, all this reading happen by no longer procrastinating decision and just not thinking about it and just doing it, it avoids, if you wanna really avoid it, avoid by just taking it and believing in yourself. All right, my Leos, have a fantastic rest of your week. I will probably see you guys on Thursday for your weekly Zodiac. I love you guys, I love you guys, I love you guys. Have a great week, take care.